great. I got a message. I got a message for the teenagers who think Meatless Monday is a bad idea. Is that don't forget it's for the grown ups sometimes as much as the um the kids to just be reminded about conservation, to be reminded about the discharges from the meat processing plants that account for over 20% of toxic water pollution discharge into U.S. waterways comes from Purdue, Cargill, Tyson, Pilgrim's Pride, these processing plants where the animals are dismembered and who knows what like guts and muck and, and awful detergents and everything is just seems to be so disgusting and that there's there's a roundup ready GMO crops that we need to reduce there's the greenhouse gas emissions from the methane farts there's the manure runoff threats to aquatic life that are a danger to our uh, north coast ecosystem and, and economy when it comes to the toxic algae blooms that we know is linked to fertilizer for the animal feed crops and the animal manure. Like there's only conservation, there's only we only have biodiversity to gain when we're not just monocropping GMO soy to feed to trap chickens. When we're not just grazing um, over, you know, to the detriment of all these other species, when it ends up being like that more often than not. Um, it ends up falling and it's definitely, definitely, uh, taking a toll on the lives of these animals who are, have their whole beings totally atrociously commodified and abused and confined, mutilated, and until those, like, until we can be certain that that this, these kinds of mutilations and confinements are against the law. Like, we have no, no reason but to see that, like, other um, sectors of the agricultural economy that are more favorable and desirable, less violent, less polluting, more biodynamic friendly, that's really what um, is up for prioritizing the nutritional wellness and the agricultural harmony. We gotta have it. We gotta have clear vision on the imperative to have fatty acid balance in our agriculture and not just be overdoing it on soy and corn oils from genetically modified crops for the processed junk foods that is contributing to the just this empty calorie wastedness that is is leading to these either lipid layer or mood disorders or um, cognitive impairments. We must take action to pass legislation and act on fats.